During the Sung Dynasty, in the year 1267, the Mongolian army general, Ali Haya, ordered his men to attack Xinyang. The Chinese generals, Liu Yanwen and Fan Tingshung, immediately put their forces on the defensive and sent for help. But the traitor, the Prime Minister Chao Tao, did not pass on the message and instead sent the Emperor a false report, thus empowering the Chinese forces who were cut off. The traitor Chao Tao also made a map of the Chinese defensive network and sent one of his men to give it to the Mongolians. But Chao Tao's man was intercepted by a patriot who then tried to get news of what had happened sent to the emperor. So the traitor Chao Tao would be unmasked. Hansing Yao, you are a man of few words. Hansing Yao no longer exists. The only thing left is the spirit of this sword. The Prime Minister asked me to find you. He needs your help. Specifically, he needs you to use your sword. I am merely the agent of this sword. I'm not interested who has asked me to use it. It never does to know who it is. Otherwise, one day I might meet them and have to kill them. This sword recognizes no one. You really are a man of bizarre integrity. An important document has fallen into our enemy's hands. They will use it to promote insurrection. They'll try to deliver it to Sha Kung and Wen Ting Seng. The Prime Minister does not want that. I'm to give you these pearls. They're a personal gift. When your job's done, there will be more. <laughs> What are you doing? My sword is my soul. It cannot be bought. I will fight for you, though. I have reasons of my own. I must re-establish my reputation. But will you keep your promise? I am a man of my word. I'm glad to hear it. We must stop these patriots and get back that document. You ought to hunt down every ringleader and make sure you kill that chief.
the map of the army's defense. Ah, I must go there myself. It's a serious business. My dear, you must talk to nobody. I don't want anyone to know. I understand, dear. Ah. Where's Chair? He's sleeping inside. These troubles are getting much worse. After I've left you, make sure that he doesn't leave the house at all. I understand. Don't worry. Pa! The groom has got your horse ready. Good. Goodbye, Master. Bye. It's cold outside. Make sure you keep yourself warm. Don't worry, my dear. Come back soon, dear. Hmm. I believe you are the one called the Lone Swordsman, Chan Tin Pang. Uh, who are you? I'm the sword. So you believe you're a sword? You're a murderer? That's right. My sword has work to do tonight. It's come to claim your life. Uh, so I see. There's nothing I can do. have to kill women too. Not your concern. You better remember that when I have work to do, I do not require any help. And that includes you. What's going on? Over the past few days, so many men have been killed. We can't afford such losses. What's more, they were all killed by just one blow. Master, I think they're all killed by the same guy. Oh, a professional killer. What's our country coming to that he can do this? I knew someone like this who was a swordsman about a year ago. There was a man like this up in the north. He walked alone. Nobody who ever saw him lived to tell the tale. He was called the Sword Spirit. Oh. You mean that crazy assassin has now come down here? But why? He's nothing against us. We don't bear him any grudges. Master, you think it's possible that he has come down here to locate the secret document? Well, that is hard to say. Master, just what is this document? It is a map of the army's defenses. 
And it is highly secret. What's more, the document was stolen by a traitor to give to the enemy army in order to let the Mongolians gain victory. So he sent the document with a courier to the enemy camp. But when he passed through here, he was ambushed and the document disappeared. The treacherous prime minister couldn't look for it himself, so he's hired a professional killer to find it for him. <sighs> and now the document has disappeared and all our people are being murdered. Master, do you think it has anything to do with my parents' murder? Mm. It does have something to do with it. Mm. I must look into it. Master, Master we'd better, better, better be going. going. Count on us. All right. But stay in touch with me. Yes, sir. <laughs> Don't be frightened. I want you to take a message. You. You are to take this cut branch back to your teacher, Pang Chung Cheng and tell him to hand over the document tomorrow, or else I'll come and kill him. We can't wait around here. You and Pu Chi leave here immediately and go to Tung Hai village. You're to contact the Tung Hai swordsman, Mr. Hua. Only him. He's the only one who can deal with this killer. Master! The Tunghai swordsman retired a long time ago. All you have to do is make sure he gets this branch. He'll come out of retirement. Master, what about you? I'm still able to defend myself. I can last out against him, I hope. Master, please take care. Don't do anything foolhardy. Our company has always put the country first. Now the going is tough. We must be tough. All right, off you go. to bother you. I will bury all of them. Of course, of course. ain't safe anymore. You'd better go somewhere else. Huh. 
I've been expecting you to show up. Didn't I say that I would come? You've enough money with you now. Go back home to your farms. Teacher! Teacher. There's no need for you to die. He's nothing against you. Goodbye, teacher. There is a meaning to all this. By fighting me, you are privileged to die by my sword. I reckon someone's following us. Mm. My friend, why are you digging that hole by the roadside? No. I'm digging two holes, and I'm digging them six feet deep with steep straight side. In case you don't guess, they're for you. But I've never met you. Why do you make such a joke? <laughs> I'm not joking. Do you mean, you've been waiting for us and you intend to kill us? <laughs> no. You see, money's changed hands and you're quite valuable. But you're only worth anything if you're dead. So, I've been waiting here, hoping you'd cooperate. Because I'm rather out of pocket.
Do be careful. They have killers out all along the road. They even have the fox waiting for you. Goodbye. Now the king moves. Mm, chess is such an ingenious game. It never stops being interesting. But no matter how great the man, comes a time he has to go. Now I move here and take the king. My friend, could you tell me how far it is to Taihang village? This is a dead end. You're going nowhere. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Who are you? Really, you have my sympathy. But there just isn't any other way. Go! But are you going to Tung Hai Village? Who is it? It's just two travelers. Uh, since we're both going in the same direction, let them up. Ha! Ha! <laughs> we're lucky to meet you. Otherwise, we faced a hell of a long walk. <laughs> My uh, daughter and I have been traveling some time on the road. After a while, we get bored. We're most happy to have your company. You seem too fine gentlemen. <laughs> Tell me, have you ever heard of the Tung Hai swordsman, Mr. Ha? He lives in Tung Hai village. <laughs> the man you're looking for is here. He's sitting opposite to you, you know. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. How could I be so stupid? <laughs> All right. She's my daughter, Wa Feng. I've been retired for quite a long time now. We just travel around. Now then, what can I do for you? <laughs> to tell the truth, I was wanting to ask you a favor. I want you to teach me all your skills with the sword, so I can kill traitors and restore our beloved country. I've sworn to avenge my parents' death. Oh, you're a good son, and I approve of your conduct. Now, Please have a drink with me. Ah! Mister, you have a famous butterfly sword. Is it really just 12 inches long?
Who's that man? He just saved my life. Something funny's going on. I'm worried about everyone back home. Right, you go back. I'll look after him. fast mover. I'm warning you, if you ever come up behind me again, you'll be a dead man for sure. The guys you want dead, I have rubbed out four. Anything else you want? You can kill off all of them for all I care. The most important thing is to get back that document. Killing is my job, not detective work. Huh. I realize you prefer killing to anything else. Yes. The thoughts went far. I see you anticipate the ones I would like to kill. Where is Walung now? He has been retired a long time now. But I think I can find him for you, all right. Right. I'll see what I can do to find your document then. Good. It's a deal. Teacher! It's me. I just saved you. Now I have come to kill you. I'm the fox. Huh? If you're the fox, what do you have to kill that man for? I had to stop him talking. Shut him up. You've been hired. You've been hired to kill me. That's right. How did you guess? I have come here to kill you. Now, are you ready? <laughs> on him. Yes, I'll go immediately. Hold it. Just make sure you don't kill him first, till you made him talk. I must get that duck. I understand, boss. Hey, mister, please sit down. Hey, what would you like to have, sir? There you are. I don't mind anything. Just bring me the specialty of the house, and quickly, please. Ah, yes, sir. Round a bottle of wine. 
Yes, yes, I bottle of wine. A bottle of wine here. <laughs> Change, sir. Change. <laughs> Down, love. I will look after it for you. I won't let it be harmed. Huh? <laughs> when I have the time, I will come and visit you at your house. Ah, good idea. You're welcome. Fried yellow fish. The cook says it's good. Is today the 15th of August? Oh, mister, you're wrong there. Today is the 13th. It's not the 15th. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Where does the time go to? Ah, second master, you've come. Uh, master. <laughs> Sit down. Have a seat. I trust you're doing what I told you. How's it going? Don't worry. Everything is settled. <laughs> that bastard is my bitter enemy. Watch him closely. But don't take any action. Until I tell you to move. Or you might spoil my plan. Understand? Yes, yes. <laughs> Nowadays, I don't know what the world's coming to. Wait up. Uh, yes, sir, what is it? I want to have a room. A room that is quiet. Oh, I'm sorry, but we're all full up. Uh, this gentleman just got the last one. I'm sorry. What a world. I'm continually confronted with idiots. Mister, if you don't mind, you can share my room with me. There's no need to insult me. Buddha's name be praised. Amen, amen. I found out where Cheng Yi is. He has just booked into a room at the King Hotel. The Prime Minister is rapidly losing patience. Everything is arranged. He cannot get away. Get back to the hotel with your men. Then at midnight, we will make our move. First distract Chang Yi's attention. Then get that document. Ah, oh, sorry, mister. I am sorry I spoke like that. I was drunk. Mister, since you are a holy man, why do you hate so much? When I was a young man, I was a tough fighter. Good looking, just like you. Physically strong and very brave. Mm. All right, move in. Mister, there is an old fighter called Mr. Hua. Do you know of him? Yes, we met before. You see this scar here? Well, he gave it to me. It's a long time ago. His wife was very jealous of his skills. They lived near this village, up on the hillside. But someone killed her, and Master Hua decided to leave. However, he took his blind daughter with him far from here. But they do return. Once a year, about this time, he comes here for fishing and to place flowers on his wife's grave. Doesn't he teach anymore? Doesn't he practice? Uh, no, I don't think he does that anymore. From what I know, for 20 years he has had no students. He used to be chief of some patriots. They pleaded with him to teach, but he refused point blank. <sighs> but these patriots are in trouble. They're fighting for their lives. Wait 
กไว้หน้าบ้านเราWants you dead? Who? Oh. Depends on how much, huh? <laughs> Where is he? He's inside there. You want to kill? 
the thing you want to get, mm. I can get both of them for you. Huh? But first... So don't chase them. Mister, you... What happened? Be warned tonight, they're going to kill you. You must leave here immediately. Do you mean someone wants me dead? Right. And they're professional assassins. When you're in danger, you take this pill, take it when you need it. You better be going now. Uh, mister! Take care of yourself. Uh. Uh, I must say, what a surprise. All hell does seem to be being let loose here. document. you'll find the Tung Hai Swordsman. the matter. You all right? What are you doing here? I hope you're not following me. I find you a pain in the neck. Since you address me as friend, why don't I speak frankly to you? I'm following you so I can meet the Tung Hai Swordsman. I want him to teach me his skills. So I can take revenge for my parents' death. And kill the traitor!
You have both been poisoned. I know you have got the document, so hand it over now. If not, tonight in this wood, you will breathe your last, I promise. Three years.
years ago. I too wanted to learn sword fighting. I came as far as here. However, I was not able to find the way to the Flower Valley. My friend, could you tell me what your name is? I have no name. I have no wish to mention it. I have always liked the sky at night. All the shooting stars. My nickname is the Black Meteor. You hear the wind is getting up. I can smell the scent of flowers. It is wafting on the breeze. The flower valley is near here. I am sure that you will find it. As long as you are persistent, learn all he teaches you. And then get your revenge. Kill the traitor. And you heard what the fox said to you. He asked you for it. They have not got the document yet. That means that you have got to find it yourself. Quickly, you must go. Oh! to have found us, or else you would have died from poison for sure. Where is this place? Flower Valley. Huh? Is he awake? He's taken the potion. It's starting to work. The poison's leaving. In fact, it was the branch you carried that saved you. If not, my father would never have allowed us to give you any assistance. Is your father the famous Tonghai swordsman, Mr. Hua? My father is waiting to see you. Pleased to meet you. I'm honored. Who'd have thought that after all these years, there's a reason to go again and use my sword in a fight? This man is a professional killer. He's paid by the traitors. He does their work and kills good men. From what I've been told, the country's in jeopardy. The traitors plan to take it over. So they had this killer. He's the spirit of the sword. He likes killing. He'll kill anyone if he's told to. And he's also looking for a secret document. Oh. You know where it is, the document, who has got it? It's disappeared. Hmm. If that's the case, then I am concerned. 
not just because of this swordsman, but also because our country is in danger. Something must be done. Please, you must listen to me. Let me be your pupil. I want to learn so that I can fight him and save our country. Bring me my shining sword. Yes. Dad, you... I know what I'm doing. to go and take the branch, find this man, the spirit of the soul, and give this branch to him. No harm will come to you, because you are a woman. You tell him we meet at Sun Hill. September the 9th. Yes, I'll leave now. Pa, don't you realize? You're an old man. Fong Fong, go and fetch the book of flowers that your mother gave me. Yes, Pa, right away. better. It's not serious. That was a strong poison. Despite the antidote, some of it still remains. You won't be recovered until it's all gone. You still need a full three weeks of complete rest. You must get rid of the poison. Or else it will return. You'll have a heart seizure and you'll die. Teach it. When will you teach me the butterfly saw technique? You must learn to be more patient, understand? In your convalescence, study the flowers. They'll teach you to be patient. Later, when you're fully recovered, I will teach you. All right? So it's up to you to get well. It's all going to plan. You really got it worked out. Now that he's seen this branch, I'm certain he'll come out again to fight. What time and place did he say? Sun Hill, September the 9th. <laughs> Good. Come here, my dear. Mm, this 
despite the years, you still remain as attractive as ever. <laughs> Watch it. What's got into you? You're acting like you're sex-starved. <laughs> that I am. <laughs> You done. <laughs> huh. That terrible mask off, it's getting in the way. <laughs> all right, all right. company and all of the flowers aren't they lovely my father told me the flowers will protect me they have a kind heart actually I'm perfectly all right but your father keeps telling me to wait he won't teach me the techniques. I can't wait much longer. Both flowers and sword require patience if you're to master them. To fight with flowers needs a high degree of skill. You must learn more patience before you learn the sword. Otherwise, you won't make it. It's strange. On August 15th, why didn't your father Keep his date to go fishing. Because... Your father's gone! Huh? Your father's gone! Father's gone! Father's gone! Father's gone! Father's gone! Huh? Father's gone! Father's gone! Father's gone! Your father's oh. gone! God. 
To master flowers and the sword, the first thing is to learn patience. Then it will come to you. I'm sorry, but I haven't told you. My father made a promise at mother's grave. He made a pledge never to use the butterfly stroke to hurt anyone ever again. He never has. Young fellow, are you satisfied by steeping your sword in blood? That is what my soul tells me. The sword tells me. Everyone should be killed. <laughs> the mountains and the clouds. Everything is so peaceful here. Surrounded by such beauty. Why can't mankind live in peace together? You have lost your strength. Why do you throw your life away? It is my duty. I must stop you. I don't care about my fame. That means nothing. <laughs> as long as I can stop you, I'll be able to die happy. Now that I've killed you, I can retire as well. your word. <laughs> the Prime Minister is going to be most pleased. Now he's got back the document and you've killed the Tung Hai swordsman. You've done well. And I'm sure you'll be well rewarded. What's the matter? Aren't you happy? I'm sorry. When I was fighting Huar, he didn't use the butterfly technique. But, uh... Since he was killed by your swordsmanship, you're number one now. No one can beat you. You shouldn't have any regrets. Come on. Let us celebrate our success. Come, have a drink. Very well. This will be my last drink before I retire from fighting. Huh. It's not only the last drink before you retire. It's also the last drink of your life, huh? <laughs> It's you. <laughs> it's me. Are you surprised? But how did you escape? I killed you. You're the first man to have survived my sword. <laughs> While you were on your killing spree, I was watching you closely. You always attacked in the same manner. Very fast, I mean, just one stroke. So I prepared myself specially. That is why I was able to escape from you. It was easy to trick you, my friend. Since you knew you couldn't fight me, why did you risk your life? You could have easily been killed. Why take such a risk? You must have had a very good reason. <laughs> I wanted everyone to think I was dead. 
that Fang Zhu Fang died bravely defending his country. I'll be famous. <laughs> From tomorrow, I'll assume a new name. No one will know me. I'll enjoy the good life with nothing to fear. Understand? But you had to be killed. <laughs> what I don't understand, though, is why you're still alive. I put a lot of poison into that wine. You've done it. Yes, he drank all of the poison. However... You don't have to worry. <laughs> that poison is strong and it works very fast. <laughs> I want to be sure, that's all. From now on, you can always stay here with me. Share my good fortune. Forget it. Do you think all I'm interested in is your money? Fang Chu Fang, don't you understand, Rich or Poor? I love you. Just don't treat me like a whore. <laughs> What's got into you? <laughs> don't get so upset. You know me. I love you. I'm glad. All these years, I've had to work for you. It's all worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? It was fortunate that you called out my name. Oh, it oh. reminded me that you oh. are the only one alive who still knows who I really am. Oh, oh. And if you are dead, then my secret will be safe forever. No one will get oh. me. <laughs> That's right. The document was a fake. You... you're meant to be dead! And what if I have come back from the dead? Before, I was a devil. But now, after what you did to me, I'm changed into a good man. Do you mean you're alive? Lucky for me, I didn't trust you. I always carry a potion with me that can cure any poison. So, I have surprised you. Ah! 
You never did see the butterfly technique. But now you're going to learn it firsthand what it's like to die by mine. <laughs> you will never be able to kill Fang Chu Fang, but it's absolutely vital to me. You don't leave alive. <laughs> was given to my father by my mother when she died. He kept it with him to remember her. And though I'm blind and I can only touch it, when I feel it, I remember my mother and the flowers in the valley. She planted them and cared for them while she was still alive. I don't want to hear another word about flowers. Uh, don't forget, Mother Chan, you're still not recovered. Until you're fully recuperated, you're not to leave the valley. Besides, my father said, it's my job to teach you about flowers. You must learn. It will help you recover. If you don't do as he's told you, you'll have let him down. He'd be very disappointed. If you're able to catch me, then I'll listen to you. Talk about flowers. Right. Stay where you are, and I'll catch you. Come here to kill your friend Chan. Mother Chan! Mother Chan! Oh, oh. Right quickly! Mother Chan! A man's going to kill you! Oh. I reckon you have to be the spirit of the song. You're the one who escaped me before. The son of Chan Tinpang, Chan Yi. I've never forgotten you. I'm going to kill you! Oh, <laughs> 
Show me how good you are. Let's see if you know the butterfly stroke. If not, there's no way you're going to beat me. Chance, you are going to die. Today, it has been my privilege to finally witness the famous butterfly sword stroke. I have no regrets. Here is the document you want. You, you must take it to Chang Ho. Give it to Wei Tin Sing, General Wan can rescue our country and then save all of our people.
Brother Chan, you must come back. I'll be waiting for you. I'll be back here very soon and help you rebuild the house. When spring comes next year, the valley will once more be in full bloom. You still got a lot to teach me about flowers. <laughs>